welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing and turning on your notifications as i have new uploads every week now today i'll be showing you how to make this soft delicious rosemary mandazis and i can't forget they smell absolutely good and they remain soft even after three days but first So we'll start off with the ingredients. So I have one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, rosemary leaves, four and a half tablespoon of sugar, 500 grams of self-raising flour. You can use mandazi flour as well. Four tablespoons or 150 grams of margarine, warm milk leaves. And I have a secret ingredient that I'll be introducing. So keep watching. So the first thing that I'll be doing is uh, removing the leaves from the rosemary stem and make sure that you've washed them before cutting and proceed to cut the rosemary leaves into tiny bits. Once done, set aside. So the next thing that you'll be doing is uh, kneading the dough and preparation of the dough. And for that, you'll need clean hands. So make sure that you have your hands clean. And into a large bowl, add in your flour, followed by your sugar and your rosemary leaves. Basically, all the dry ingredients. Once done, mix them well. So next go ahead to add in your margarine and mix it well with the flour until it's completely dissolved. Then go ahead to add in your egg and vanilla extract, about a teaspoon, and mix together. Now that we have everything inside, it's time to knead the dough with your milk. But now, this is where I'm going to show you my secret ingredient, and that it's yogurt. So I'm just going to add a little bit of yogurt to it. I'm using plain yogurt. You can use vanilla yogurt as well. And this is optional, but yogurt adds moisture to your 
mandazes it makes them soft and even when you're baking you can always use yogurt in your cakes and you'll see such a huge difference Then proceeded to add now some milk to finish off with the kneading. So remember, yogurt is optional, but you can just use milk. It will give you the same uh, results. But I just wanted uh, extra softer mandazi. And by the way, you can also use uh, buttermilk, which is maziwa mala. So knead the dough and for about 10 minutes until it's very soft. Do not have your dough hard or too soft so that it gives you problem when rolling it so just have it in between but please do not have hard dough then you'll have hard mandazes then cover your dough with a kitchen towel or a foil and let it rest for about 15 to 30 minutes and you can see how soft my dough is 20 minutes later So before we start rolling the dough, line your bowl with kitchen paper towels which will help soak in excess oil and place your dough in your surface or board and roll it. As you can see, I did not sprinkle any flour on my surface because I did not want that hard um, top of the mandazes. I just wanted them to be really, really soft. And don't worry, your dough will not stick on your surface. Then go ahead to cut your dough into your desired shapes or sizes. Make sure that it's not too thick and it's not too thin. And once done your dough is ready to fry and a quick tip if you want to check your oil is ready instead of dipping your mandazis just use a wooden stick and if you see bubbles coming around it then it means your oil is ready so i'll be frying the mandazis in medium high heat so dip your mandazis in your oil and let them fry until they are golden brown And there you can see the color that I like. It's golden brown. They're not oily, just perfect. As always, I have to show you the inside of the mandazes and you can see how soft they are. It's literally falling off. That's how soft these mandazes were. They came out perfect. I really hope you did enjoy this recipe and most importantly, you will try it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.